This is the solution to written homework 27. Okay, so let's carry this out. So that would be negative 6x minus 3 greater than negative 2x uh, minus 8. So now I'll add 6x to both sides. So add 6x to that side, add 6x to that side. So that would be negative 3 is greater than 4x um, minus 8. So now I'll add 8 to both sides. So now that would be 5 greater than 4x So now I'll divide both sides by 4. Since 4 is positive, we don't need to switch the direction of the inequality. So that would be 5 over 4 greater than x. Or, if you like turning the equation around, x less than, turning the inequality around, that is to say, less than 5 over 4. four. So that would be negative infinity to 5 over 4. <coughs> so part B, solve for x assuming that B is positive. Give your answer in interval notation. Okay, so then what we're going to do, x minus a over b is less than um, uh, C like this, and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides. We're going to multiply both sides of the inequality by b. So multiply the left by b, multiply the right by b, and because b is positive, because b is positive, that means that the direction of the inequality does not change. So this would be x minus a is less than b c. So then now we can add a to both sides. So add a, add a. So that would be x is less than uh, a plus bc. So the answer is negative infinity to a plus bc. So now, for part C, it's a different matter, because now we want to solve for x, and this is assuming that b is negative. Now, the opening operation is the same as for part b. We want to get the x by itself, so we need to multiply both sides by b. So we multiply by b on the left and on the right. However, when you do that, when you do that, it now looks like this. So x minus a over b and c. We have a b here, and we have a b here. And so far, it looks just like part a, except now there's one major distinction. And that is because b was negative, the direction of the inequality has reversed. So this, is, this has occurred right here because b is negative. OK, but otherwise it's, it's very similar to part b. So x minus a greater than bc. So x greater than a plus bc. And therefore, the answer is a plus bc to infinity.